Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Dwarves of Erebor campaign. Today we are going to take a look in the east and see what is going on over here. We took Skan last episode and it's not soon before we're going to start pushing here. But we definitely need some more troops, this is not sufficient enough. But we can, we can see how far we'll get with these troops. Maybe attack down here, I think they, yeah they do hold this land as well. So, and they're probably fighting off Dale over here, so we could probably help them, uh, help Dale a little bit. Now, over here, we are actually going to assault with the board, so I sent out an army. I just skipped one turn and just micromanaged some stuff, and these guys will follow after, and that will establish a much better border for us, definitely. And over here, we are actually headed towards Morvatarth, which will... Yeah, we will attack that the next turn, but I don't see... We can just wait on this bridge for the meantime. And we do see that the goblins is stationed over here. So Kamath Rin might be our next target with King Dane. But it actually looks like we might need a couple more troops. So we might want to send these, yeah, these guys down here actually. And of course over here we are still expanding into the west. Because they do hold two kind of provinces here so i think we're going to just get rid of this army first and here is actually anzul i'm actually tempted to just leave this army and then attack anzul the next turn and then these guys will probably attack us as well so these guys let's see these guys can't move anyways we're actually going to move these guys a little bit closer so that we can help out Lun and reinforce this army. We have no armies over here now, so we definitely need to get some more troops over there. But at the moment, yeah, these guys are probably fine. But we need to bring more more armies. And we are getting the Hammers of Gundabad. Hopefully, we're going to see them this episode. And Goblin Town is not far from our reach now. And it would definitely be good for us because it would establish a border on both sides and we would get like unite our borders a little bit which will bring in a lot of more money definitely that's a good idea but for now these guys yeah they cannot reach us anyways i think we can just head close towards morvatar and we are sending these dale and woodsmen in backup and i think we can just end the turn there so we're definitely going to see some action today. I hope to bring down Angmar for good. And in the east, we'll not get to see too much action over there. It's just going to, we're try, going to try to navigate a little bit and see how the situation is. And we like our main focus today is to bring down Angmar and take out Withybord. And they do have a lot of more troops here, it looks like. They're actually going to sally out, it looks like. But if we just start attacking Ang soon, they will probably just attack us at this point. But they do have a lot of armies. Yeah, but this army is still pretty strong. And with these guys in backup, we should be more than sufficient enough. We should probably bring down these armies first though. Faulan is probably going to... No, he's not going to aid. So we actually need to just bring these armies together and head for Angsul. We just want to make sure these guys will not be threatened either. Right, Moratav is a village, so that's going to be a very quick battle. These guys will arrive shortly. But they have a pretty solid garrison here. But this is essentially just trash. Right, we got the mining network in Dane's Halls now. That's going to give us some more money. We can actually recruit a lot of units from here. But I do want to save up for this mining complex. But we're not making a lot of money at the, at the moment. So I think we can just push for troops, to be honest. Let's get a couple more troops around here. These guys as well. We actually have a lot of units which we can send from here. Let's send them over here. Yeah. We don't actually know how many settlements Angmar have left. So we definitely need all the troops we can. But once we take out Goblin Town, we're going to be much better off. Because we can just send troops down here instead of all the way around 
So I think we're just going to recruit units for all the money. I actually don't want too many archers at this time. Let's get some of these Iron Hills Matox and some of these guys. That's going to be fine. And Daldin, yeah. These guys can just be a little bit behind. And soon with the board. Well, once we take out with the board, I'm going to send these troops to the east. They're just such so far off. Let's just build another tower. And here they actually are. And this is actually a rebel territory. The issue is that they have taken the land up here, which is kind of separating our lands. That's kind of annoying. So, but instead of going for the rebel settlement, I'm just going to hit the uh, rune settlement down here. Just try to give, like, give them some damage and just retreat. Why not? Uh, because these troops are just costing us money anyways. All right, but let's take down Morvatarth. I'm actually thinking about just doing this battle off camera. It's not very interesting. We have seen most of these battles already. So I'll just see you when I have defeated Mionit. And there he goes down. The Witch Knight is down. All right, let's just end the battle. We lost 90, killed a lot. Sons of the Fall, just doing so much. Like, Dane is such an overpowered bodyguard. Because he, he will not lose a lot of men, and he can just hold for a very, very long time. So, he is very useful in this campaign, definitely. This looks like a depiction of the Battle of the Five Armies. I always like this depiction of the dwarves looking very, very grim and ready to fight. Like in the books, the Battle of the Fire Armies is quite different from the films. I really enjoy the book version because uh, King Dane only brings like 500 dwarves, but they are very, very elite. Wow, this place actually brings in a lot of money. That kind of surprised me. Now, we are going to just head straight out and we're going to start attacking these goblins. Oh, that didn't go very well. There we go. Let's see. yeah, it's not really that important. Oh, actually we've got no culture at all. We probably, but it's very low anyway. But we probably want to get some culture. Enemy army routes, remnants of Angmar. Alright, Camethrin is our next. Oh, we're actually not at war with these guys. Goblin town. High Chieftain Uglag. I really want to attack Goblin Town with the Hammers of Gundabad, seeing them in all their glory though. Oh, wow, just look at these stats. I can't wait to use them. We could probably send an army to attack from this side, so that we actually attack from two sides. But we should probably wait a little bit with attacking. Let's just send these guys a little bit closer. And we need to make some alliance with the Dunedain. Alright. We can actually build more stuff here. But it's not really necessary. Wow, we can get a Telchar in armor. Wow. That's some real armor, I promise you. And down here. Let's make a quick raid. Let's see if it's going to work out could very well go the other or the opposite way but we do have some cavalry so I think this force is pretty it's pretty ready for this kind of thing so let's just end the turn and see what the world brings to us now the goblins of Moria is not going to be a very hard challenge we have a lot of enemies fighting them from all sides and we are just way better than almost all their troops but you can actually use Goblins of Moria against the Dwarves if you're the human player. If you just surround their troops, you're going to be able to do so much damage. Oh wow, these guys are trying to surround us. We need to beat that army and provoke the, the garrison in Angsul. It looks like that's going to help. Count stands with the Isari. Wow, that's impressive. Minas Morgul besieged. Dale prospers. This is only good news, except for that Moria is under siege. We do not like that, definitely not. 
All right, these arches. Now we currently not at war. Something to investigate. Another is reached. High Chieftain is outside the city. Ah, I think I know what to do now. Attack High Chieftain, provoke this garrison, and slaughter them all. That's beautiful. Mordor is the most advanced faction. Right, let's see how much they got around here. Yeah, they just completely divided their armies. Ah, and only these two armies is going to attack us. They are screwed, utterly screwed. Ah, yeah, the Vargas of Khan. All right, let's deal with the stuff over here first before we start dealing with the other stuff. Oh, that's actually quite a solid army. Now, the thing about Rune, we don't really want to meet them in the field. Prob they're just... They will outpace most of our troops. But it looks like they actually do have some kind of army over here. But we're not going to be able to defend Skarn. I thought they didn't have a lot of armies here. But I've really decided we can't really fight them now. It's not going to be worth it. We need more troops. So let's quickly bring down with the board. They can only hold up for four turns. Do have some trolls in here though. Still a couple of turns and we'll get the hammers. Let's recruit more units here though, even though it's arches, it's fine. Send one of these guys to Gundabad. And here, we got some more units. A ballista, that would be nice. But these guys are just all the way around here. We do want to get rid of them. We probably want to, ah, and here's those. That's why this garrison is so weak. Let's send these three units over here. And now we're going to fight this battle. That's going to be off camera, so let's start with this battle. We are going to declare war. Ah, and they actually just buggered off. And we can't actually reach him, which sucks. But we'll start just sieging them out, which we cannot. Alright, that sucks. At least we'll get him the next turn. These guys are still on their way. We have some more troops here as well. Alright, uh, let's get rid of these guys. Once again, I don't think this is interesting to watch. It's just trash. Uh, so I'll see you right after the bite. He's gone. He's gone. Clear victory. clear victory from the dwarves, the sons of Owl. Yeah. Nice. I am not sure if we actually captured the settlement, though. I am not quite sure if the general actually left the settlement. Because it looks like we were actually some distance between that settlement, but we'll have to see. This is the streets of Minas Tirith. Probably the brewery on the fifth level, if I remember correctly. I believe it's on the fifth level. Ah, execute. Ah yeah, it actually looks like it was inside Angsul. That's very nice. Let's exterminate just to get some okay culture here. Or rather that the people isn't that mad with us. Let's get this one. And yeah, the next settlement is over here. And this settlement is actually not taken. We're going to see our fellow brethren soon. Wonderful. Alright, but we'll have just to... Yeah. I do want to... Leave some troops here. Let's leave a couple of arches. And I'll have to do some more battles of camera. Alright, I'll see you after these battles as well. There they go down. That was not a very hard battle. Plus 10%. And let's just end the battle. Yeah. Pretty good. Burning Riders is very good. I'm really glad we bought Framsburg. That have been proving to be a very, very good strategy for the dwarves. Because we're just basically supply with some cavalry. And I, I think you're definitely going to 
want to do that. We paid like 15,000, which means we'll make up the money in like 16 turns or so. So that's like, that's a nice investment in itself. But you will also get four units of Burning Riders. As well, you can recruit mercenaries from that area. So it's just a very nice deal in general, to be honest. Enemy camp sacked. Ah, they got another army right here. Let's see if we can tempt them to actually attack us at this bridge. Because I think they have a larger number than us. Uh, we should probably have taken them out, but alright. I really want to get Gimli in some action. Just letting him sit here and rot is not what I intended for. He should actually sweep places with Lun, but... Yeah, we can't do that at the moment. We'll have to send another general there in some time. But we can't send... Oh, it actually looks like it's fine at the moment. Let's send him away and see if they actually start to rebel. If not, we can just uh, swap him with Gimli. Let's see how the situation over here turns out. And Lord Thorin is on his way back. And we're sitting with the board, which we'll be able to take out the next turn. Should probably deal with this trash as well. Let's end the turn. Not long until we can get the hammers now. But I am really looking forward to using more units of Sons of the Fall and the Dragon Slayers of Ered Mithrin. They are basically my favorite unit, I think. Their looks is just amazing with the Dwarven Masks from the First Age. Ah, these guys are now going to attack Framsburg, it looks like. We may have provoked them. We do not have anything to defend Framsburg with at the moment. So, Angmarin Wrath renewed. Rumors of the East Study. Ah, last stack spawn. Shit. That is really bad. That is really bad. We do not have any army to deal with that at the moment. I think what we should just... Oh, we got the hammers now. Just in time. These guys will not be able to get in to count them in time anyways. Which means we do need to... Like, we definitely need to... Help out Gimli, but we do not have any armies at all. Wow, I think there, yeah, there should, should be some somewhere over here. But jeez, oh, that is really bad. We can't just leave the settlement either. But they are going to take it in one turn, and it wouldn't have helped going that way either. Ah, uh, this is a really tricky situation to be honest. <sighs> what should we do now? I do not know, completely honest. We might very well lose Gimli here, but I do not intend to do that at all. And then we have this threat here. Oh yeah, okay, that's not a threat at all. Gloin could probably deal with those on its own, to be honest. Let's just send these guys down. That's just really unfortunate that they just spawn all the way up here. We can't really deal with them that way. Now we're going to have to risk some stuff here. Can't send out any of these guys. We're going to try to swap these with Gimli next turn, but if they attack, we are kind of screwed. We'll just have to hope. Alright, Hyacin, Aglag. These guys will probably attack us though if we attack Kamathrin. But we kind of need to... Yeah, we gotta merge this army and let's hope they attack us on the field. Something to they're going to start spamming uh, armies now. This situation up here though, that really sucks. Yeah, this is no threat. 
But to these guys, they might be. Anyways. Let's try to scout out the... The settlement. I do not remember exactly where it's positioned. But they should only have one more region. But if we could just take it in time. Right, I'm going to risk Gimli. My king, march! We've marched our limit. I lord. I sire. Let's send the hammers and these My guys king. down here. Move out. And we'll have to send these My boys king. to this fort. Forward. My king. I'm gonna All right, but we're going to take down with the board. Marching to battle, sire. Uzmugs. Agmas. Alright, I will fight this battle off camera and I will be right back. Alright, I just quickly auto sold that. Wasn't too bad. Uh, lost like two units or so, but that's okay. Now, let's repair this. Let's get the... I think we have... Yeah, let's get the brewery up. And that should bring us a lot more money. Yeah, it's definitely paying off. Now, this army... <laughs> We definitely do want to send them to the east, I think. That's what we're going to do. Let's see. Let's just send the whole army to the east. That's just... It's definitely going to take a very long time. Definitely. Is it even worth it? That's what we gotta think about. We got some money from getting with the board at least. Now, I think I'm going to send them there, because just one army will be sufficient enough to bring Rune down Aye, quite a lot. Let's just build a couple of towers with Thor in the meantime. We're just going to hold Skarn for now, I think. We'll get the mining complex in the next turn. This situation is just going to be very interesting. Let's just hope we give them it out. Or that we can find the settlement in time. Let's just hope they don't attack. That's what we gotta hope for. But why would he not attack with this army? At this settlement with no armies at all. One turn, but yeah, that's not going to be sufficient enough. Can't recruit immediately anyways. Might have stretched ourselves too thin. Alright, let's go for this one. I accept this That's wonderful, at least. Farewell. And now Barkleg is uh, rebelling. That's the cost. For leaving the settlement, we gotta get some more reinforcements in. Let's see what Angmar does now. This is a very important turn indeed. Defining Gimli's life. We definitely want, don't want. Oh, he didn't actually attack. That is a wonderful start. And now let's just quickly swap Gimli out. Right under the nose. Oh, that could be bad. That could be really bad, actually. Wow. Yeah, he actually can't get inside. That's very stupid. But I do I get the point. I move you head over there. You I guys head over there. Be gone. I, Onward. Well done, I do not remember where this settlement is, indeed. Now. Jeez. Mount Gundaman, Mount Gundabad, Erebor. <coughs> Finally. That's wonderful. I Just head I on your way. Forward. We're going to get the heavy armor now. I would do want to get some some nice armor on these boys. That's going to bring us so much money, but let's have some population growth as well. We're the most advanced faction. Relations improved. Now this guy can just attack if he wants. We're just going to send in the hammers. That's the alliance announced. You guys go to Litash. And you guys have to Shadoon. I saw I my king. Move out. My king. Have a taste of my blade. Yeah, most of them went inside, it looks like. Let's just attack them. 
and see what they will do now. They're probably going to attack us here. Ah, uh, they actually have a large army upcoming. This could be some nice battles to be honest. But it should be fine. This is trash. Uh, yeah, this is really bad. Let's repair that really quickly. It's going to cost some money, but that's fine. Just going to have to risk it for the biscuit. Alright, let's hope they don't attack. This was very stupid. I thought they were able to get inside. Let's see how this turns out. Let's just build a couple of watchtowers over here. I do not think these guys can attack. But just to make sure. We have two upkeep here and we do have three. Yeah, that's it, it looks like. Pipe hole, four, alright. Yeah, we can get two units here, that's fine. To address me, <laughs> Look at this army, boys. Snow Trolls, Northgard, Dark Blades. And they're just almost lives. every unit they have is armor piercing. They're like the best possible army they could have used against the dwarves, definitely. Ah, oh, let's see how this goes. I'm sweating now. This is a real, real challenge. We gotta just, we just gotta kill this faction off before they can start siege out Kandum. But I do not think we're going to be able to do that. Ah, they're going to attack Framsburg. That means we're going to see the hammers of Gundabad. Remnants of Angmar did nothing? Alright, that's excellent. That's just wonderful. Thank you so much. We're going to save Gimli, and that's the most important thing here. They can actually attack us now, and that is probably because it's... Because it's around turn... It's after turn 25 or something. Alright, but this army, where did it go? Alright, at least we'll have a garrison here now. And where did this army go, though? Wow, that's that's just barely, we just barely made that, guys. This is no threat. They're probably trying to find their homeland at this point. Lord Rockadan. They're probably going to attack this army, that's fine. We have saved Gimli for the meantime. I think these guys probably should go here now instead. Let's reroute them. These guys will go here, they can reinforce you in a bit. Get some more troops in on Nazanar. Wow, we built a lot of shit there. Oof, we can finally breathe out a little bit. Let's just get Gimli out of here immediately. Ah, that, and then they're going to be mad already. Such a shame. Alright, but we're now going to see the hammers in action. I think we should get the practice ranger, get some more. Yeah, we're going to be on the offensive here. Let's get the Tel Char in armor, perhaps. It's not too expensive either. And so, practice range. But we probably want to build something in on Asanar. No, I think we're fine actually. Ah, 50 turns until we can get the Sons of the Fall. We have 75% now. Can we actually recruit the Dwarves of... No. 50 turns, then I understand why. Alright, Sogthrak. We'll have to send these boys. They're actually going to be too late to save this general. Ah, that's such a shame. Yeah, these guys are just going to keep moving. Let's just keep building watchtowers over here. To be honest, I do want to get rid of some of these troops. Or just attack this army, perhaps. Because they're just... They're, they cost a lot to maintain. One more turn until we can get the mining complex. Yeah, we have been making some stupid decisions here in this episode. Definitely. Well, one of them is this one. I didn't think they could actually attack us. That's my fault. Let's try to just get them in time. 
the other fault was this one, but I couldn't really expect that to happen. That was kind of out of place. Now, here we're going to make some nice decisions though. We're going to bring down high shift and outlag. Or if we just attack here, yeah, he will actually be thrown into the battle. I think we're just going to siege out and just drop their numbers a little bit. And if high shift and attacks, that's fine. I think we'll be able to bring them both down. Or at least we'll get that very nice battle. And definitely want to see some nice action over here. May like get a battle where it's not certain that we're going to win. Just like the battle of Gundabad. And over here we definitely do need to find a settlement. I think we have gone way too far at this point. Oh, they actually hold this land now. So it's up here somewhere. I just can't even remember where it is from my Angmar campaign, which is kind of embarrassing, but that's okay. These guys will be able to help in Barke, like this will not do much. Alright, but let's see the hammers in action. Ah, uh, oh, they actually got these guys, which is probably going to be... And they're both effective against armor, which is a shame when you look at these guys' stats. Hmm. But the Uruk Taskmasters, they should be brought down. Alright, uh, I think we... Yeah, let's just send them in anyways. Even though it's not the most optimal situation, let's send in these three units. And I will see you on the battlefield. We're actually blessed in this kind of situation. Because it's a bridge battle. Now, let's take a look at these wonderful bastards. The Hammers of Gundabad. We're going to see them in their full glory. Uh, these guys might actually not attack. I think we're going to try to provoke them a little bit with these axe throwers. But in the meantime, let's just take a little moment and just look at these wonderful beings. They're blue capes and their golden armor. Let's take a look at their stats. They inspire nearby troops. They can use sharpened stakes. They're effective against armor. They frighten nearby infantry. Excellent stamina. They have 33 total defense, 16 attack, and seven charge bonus. That's just out of this world stats. Most of their armor or most of their defense comes from the armor. So you just want to make sure you watch out for armor piercing units which we do have a lot of over here, which is going to be a pain, but we do want to see them in action anyway, so that's fine, to be honest. There we go, all right, now just run all you can back, but they're probably going to catch us. These guys are much faster than us. And these guys are armor piercing. They're probably going to get our general here, but I don't really care. Just wanted to show you the the hammers of Gundabad. We're just going to do that side charge here. We're actually not losing too many dwarves. This is kind of funny. And the general is like right there. We will smash the enemy. Right. Come on, just run. Yeah, they're going to lose a yeah, and our general goes down, that's fine. Alright, let's see how these hammers will perform. Let's just give these guys some rain first. We're just going to use all of our missiles now, take some revenge. These guys will definitely fall to these missiles. All right, the hammers in action. This is of course not the optimal unit, but it's just to portray them, see what they can do. We didn't get a proper charge here. But even with arm piercing units, they will still perform so well. But you see, they have already lost like two dwarves because of this. Yeah, I just hit them hard now. You're fine now. But they're still holding pretty up pretty well. But they're looking very glorious indeed. And they did get an upgrade in their looks. Uh, in the last patch they looked kind of like the dwarves of Eremith. The dragon slayers of Eremithrin just with some 
cut the cowards with down. some other kind of armor. There we go. Victory. Yeah, they got a lot of kills. 96, you just see how strong they are. And they only lost like 4. But we're definitely going to see them in some more interesting action when we hit Goblin Town. That's going to be the turning point, of course. That's going to be way more exciting. But I still wanted to show you them in this episode. But it would perhaps be better to shove them at the right time. The patience can sometimes gift you a lot. Alright, let's bring them down. Glory to the king. Let's send them back again. Oh, we actually could adopt a general there. I think we actually need a general here, so I'm going to adopt this guy. We can leave him in the settlement. Next to take out Cloin. Even though we'll get free upkeep, so and they're going to be mad. Alright, you are going to lead this army down here. Uh, we should have left this general inside. My mistake. Alright. I will only address you in battle. We can't move here. Let's see if we can get a proper, proper fight here. We do have we should have enough infantry for this battle. These guys are essentially trash, but we do have the chieftain himself with Athru as well, Arc Bodyguard. And of course the general comes with the Black Urks or Mountain Urks. And their stats is not too bad. But just look at their defense. Their total defense is as much armor as the hammers got. That should say something about how elite the hammers are. Let's end the turn now. Uh, it's actually civil war or revolt in Kandrum now. We gotta send Gimli back, I think. We're going to build watchtowers with the general, the other general. And I don't think if we can just hurry up and find that goddamn settlement, we will be able to actually... Ah, they're going to attack us, actually. That's going to be a wonderful battle. Nice. Alright, I'm going to see you on the battlefield for this one. We're facing... 3,500 goblins and it's against Dane himself with 1,700 that's a pretty strong force but we don't have enough cavalry here but it's definitely going to be a nice fight so I'll see you on the battlefield alright we have taken position on this hill we're going to face so many orcs now we just gotta charge them and make these guys chase us really fast so just see how what nine Dale and Cavalry can do to one unit of Snaga Stalkers. Now they're running the opposite way though, so we're not going to get so many kills. Never mind. But yeah, you see, the, the troops are going to start hurrying now, and we want to ma make them hurry because we need to take them out quickly so that we don't get faced by 3,500 orcs at the same time. That's going to be really bad. Let's uh, charge this Goblin Infantry in the rear. Oh, these guys actually got a really nice hit on us. That's usually not the case with the Snaga skirmishes. Wow. All right, let's just get these guys back. They're going to capture units mainly. Why are you running into them? This guy, what are you thinking about? Poor guy. All right, so we do have a lot of Dale and Woodsmen here. Which isn't too good, but considering we have so many of them, they're probably going to do a lot of damage. And we also have these guys. And two units of axe throwers, which will be able to be put into melee right after they're finished. So this battle is going to end the episode. It's probably going to be long. So this episode will be a little bit longer than I was intended. Than I was actually thinking about, but that's just the case now. I'm just going to have them fire at will and see if these guys actually will come forth. Let's hope they do. Yeah, it looks like they are going to go now. And we're starting to fire now at this point. So let's see, here is the mountain rooks. They look pretty cool. And in the books, it's not actually... Or in the, the films, we see this cave troll. Um, we're just pushing them. But in the books, it's actually the mountain orcs, the black orcs sent from Mordor. So that's some kind of fun fact. Now snag archers can actually be a pain because there are just so many and they have some kind of a little bit of ammo. So let's just get rid of as many as we can of those. 
Now we're going to get a lot of kills because these are so trashy. And even the Dalen Woodsman will do some nice work against these guys. We're going to take a look at some... Or, to be honest, taking a look at these guys' stats, it not, it's not really that important. They're just very, very trashy. You just want to use them to surround units. That's basically their only function, to be completely honest with you. They're just very, very poor. Let's just drop some of their numbers. Because that's their only strength in this battle. We, we could take a look at the Uruk Taskmasters now, as we could in the last battle. But they have 8 attack, 17 total defense, which is pretty nice. And that's basically it. And they're effective against armor, and they do have the chanting ability, which inspires nearby troops. Morale, which is a huge boost for these guys, because they definitely need that. Now, let's just, just hit the mountain a little bit. You can hit the goblin infantry, hit the mountain orcs, hit the mountain orcs. It looks like the other army is going to come in in time though. That's not too that's not too much of a... Oh, let's get down these orc bodyguards actually. We are going to bring down the mountain orcs as well. But they're actually very susceptible to arrows. They're going down really fast. And this is the orc bodyguards, the usual bodyguard unit for the goblins of Moria. 11 attack, 22 total defense. That's alright, I guess, but you definitely want to make use of them, because that's your only kind of reliable unit, you could say. Alright, these little woodsmen are actually doing a lot of damage. I'm really liking these units now. And let's start hitting the mountain roots now. They're definitely going to be brought down pretty quickly. Now, the orc bodyguards were also entirely trashed. That's wonderful. Alright, let's get some hits on these guys. Here is High Chieftain Uglug. Uh, where is he? Actually, he's right here. He has already taken lots of hits. And he's going down very quickly. I think the Stiff Beard Archers have done some nice damage as well. Let's just not hope that they're going to be able to surround us completely. Looks like they're definitely trying at this point. And these guys will slaughter these guys even though they are not armor piercing. I think we're going to use these guys over here. I think these axe throwers should be used over here just to extend the line. And these guys, yeah the mountain Rooks is almost completely evaporated at this point. Just give those, oh that's wonderful. Just give those Rook Taskmasters some hits. And I suppose they could get go over here and Give the last hits to some of those units as well. Now let's have, save some ammo here. I definitely do want to save it for those guys. And where's the cav? Let's try to route the snag Orcus. I doubt they're going to route actually, but can at least do some damage to those. And where is actually the the mountain there? There, <laughs> twelve left. That's really good for us. Let's get them there quickly and you guys start hitting these guys yeah that's the unit we can hit at the moment Dane is engaged but that's fine these guys were supposed to charge let's see how they will perform that's not a proper charge distance stuff need to get some some distance before they charge in Right, a lot of these guys are now out of melee. That's probably going to hurt us a little bit. But of course, our real strength is in our infantry. I guess these guys could just be sent up here. And we still have these guys. Just hit the war riders, to be honest. That's where the general comes from. Usually, if the enemy has some kind of uh, cavalry. Their general will usually be in that unit, so that's useful to know. Now, give these Orc Hunters, they're actually quite many. They're going to do some damage on us. Give them some Hell Act Throwers. Yeah, there's not, they're not within range. Alright, let's give the Uruk Taskmaster some... some shit. The Mountain Uruks is just pursuing this unit. Let's give the Snagger Skirmishers a charge. Ah... 
the works have charged straight into our Edinburgh infantry, that's fine. But you just see the difference here, we have only lost 6% so far. It just shows how superior these guys are, to be honest. Alright, we're going to get a charge here into the Ulk Taskmasters. Remember, these guys are actually armor piercing, so they're going to be a nice matchup for those guys. Not, not, not a nice matchup for us. Alright, let's hit those and let's get the cavalry out. Really thin spread, let's use our ability at this point. King Dane is not actually facing any units at this time. But we still want him just holding this place. These uh, guys could probably go around here and flank. We're going to use them as a flanking unit now. We do have all of these Dale and Woodsmen in reserve. And Athrug is down. That's one general out of four. Let's just hit the Wargriders, make them all route. Over here though, they have been progressing pretty well. Probably need some reinforcements over there. These guys are slowly going over here. King Dane still haven't lost a single dwarf. Oh, just look at them. In all their glory, the sons of the fallen. Remnants of the fathers from the Battle of Az Anul Bizarre. Oh, jeez. Oh, there they go. Jeez. That's the micromanagement mistake. Alright, let's just charge around these guys. I think we're going to be fine. Wow, our line's pretty thin here. But with Dane as our general, we're not going to lose anyone. Alright, you guys can probably... Yeah, Dane is fine. Go over here. We're going to send them into melee. They're not too bad in melee. But we don't want these guys engaged with these units. Let's just have them in reserve here in case they break through. They're almost routing at this point. And just, yeah, just look at this. Even the Uruk Taskmasters were just completely crushed. What do they rely on again? Of course, they rely so much on their armor, and these guys are armor piercing. But still, they should have taken a little bit more damage on us. I'm rather surprised, to be honest. These Orchidists will probably get a couple of kills on us. But we're going to be able to route this and free this flank. And King Dane still holding so bravely. These guys will probably not take too much damage. This is essentially the trash faction. They do not have a lot of strong... Like, they do... They can do a lot of damage if you're actually... Oh, wow, these guys actually got a nice charge into our Spearman. Hit those guys pretty hard. They can essentially be used properly by a human player. And how you do that is basically just... Alright, we're going to use you guys now. Is basically just to swarm the enemy with all your units. That's your advantage, the um, numbers game. Alright, let's send these guys and flank the orc hunters. These guys can just flank here now. Not really worried about most of these forces at this point. And a, w a glorious charge from the Stonefoot Spearman. Not looking. Like a very powerful charge, the charge nonetheless. The cavalry is over here, and it's almost completely gone. It's just a matter of time before they're completely gone. King Dane is still fighting bravely. These guys have now re established control of the situation. And the Goblin Infantry is a real. How, what is their stats? Six attack, seven total offense, three armor. I guess they're. Not as bad as the Snaga Stalkers. And the Mountain Urix is coming for a last charge, it looks like. This is going to be High Chief and Uglug's doom, this charge right here. That's going to be his end. And you guys, ah, both the generals is here. Both the War Rider and High Chief and Uglug. Going to take a counter charge here. These guys will be gone in a minute or two. Just look at King Dane, how many troops he's holding away. It's not even losing a lot. But he is in the tick of the fight. We want to be a little bit careful here. Let's send these guys in. Let's try to route them all now. They do have poor morale and it's just a matter of time before we route 
the generals. There goes one of them. Now it's just a matter of time before a chieftain Agla goes down as well. Send you guys over here. Sadly, we don't have anyone to capture these units. We gotta rescue King Dane at this point. But most of these troops are going to route now, it looks like. Yeah, as soon as these guys came in, they actually routed. Should probably have sent them in a little bit earlier. Let's try to capture as many as we can. The Dalemen should be able to capture someone. Dalemen Woodsman. Oh, jeez, did their other general... He hasn't even routed. Where is he now? Definitely want to get him killed off. They're just routing. Oh, jeez, and we don't have any cavalry. That's why you always want to keep cavalry in your forces, boys and girls. Right, let's try to run straight through and see if we can actually capture them. These guys are is actually getting... Yeah, they're getting attacked by these guys. Just capture these boys and you are going to go for those. Uh, it's not him. It's all the way over here. Jeez, that's so unfortunate. Can we just capture him? No, we can't. That's such an unfortunate uh, situation. At least we're going to be able to capture a lot of these guys. Oh, they actually got charged by the orc hunters. I guess give these guys some help. You see how susceptible they are in melee. They just lost every man so, f so fast. I don't think we're going to be able to capture much more troops, to be honest. Let's get these guys. Oh, we haven't actually won the battle yet. We gotta get... Yeah, there we go. Let's end the battle there. 428 loss, 2,900 killed. But the general is still alive. Just look at Dane. Lost 5 and killed 344. Now he has max experience already. Dwarven laborers, Dale and Woodsman, all of these guys doing very well. Yeah. And for once, it is not the cavalry which has the most kills. But that's nice. That's our first blow against the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. Now, are we going to get the settlement or not? I'm not certain of. I think they might actually retreat with their faction leader inside. But once we take Goblin Town, it's just going to be a ride. Because we have Imladris in between. Which can work as a buffer for us. Ah, they have, have another army upcoming. We actually get Kamath Rindo, which is excellent. Ah, they're going to attack Barkeleg. But we do have the forces to bring those down. That's not a big problem. We are besieged. Ah, and they're attacking us, definitely. Wow. And that's their army, just heading back to their homeland. It's probably going to be difficult to defeat Angler now. If they only have one settlement, it's fine, but if they have more, that's going to be a problem. The rangers flourish. Ah, they got another huge stack. Not that it's really a problem, though, but they're sending another stack as well. Yeah, I think uh, we just sent them away. Now, this guy could use some help here. But I think we should prioritize this first. I think we should just station these guys here for now. Uh, you're going to be inside that settlement. We're the largest faction. Katna Sugdak did not attack, which is wonderful. Relations improved. Barkeleg. Alright. Ah! Our allies is coming. Let's get the brewery. Now, I want to be a little bit careful here, but... We definitely do want to bring him down eventually. But this force is quite strong. But it's just another army of trash. They have some heavy goblin crossbowmen, though. Effective against armor with 7 missile attack. That's not too bad. That's the kind of units you want to use against the dwarves. Aye. 
And they're actually quite mad over here. I think we need to send Gimli back. Can we send this guy out? Yeah. Let's just build watchtowers here. I don't think this force is going to attack us anyways. Uh, they actually got quite a large force now. We should have brought down these armies while we had the chance, it looks like. We're going to retreat a little bit. These guys will be able to deal with him, so no problems. Let's send this guy and see if we can find the last settlements that these guys got. Alright, we have got some culture here now. Let's start getting the town guard. We need more troops on this front. We're definitely suffering from it at this point. Not too long until we can start recruiting new troops though. This one was hurt. Alright. We have a lot of money. We gotta investigate or... Not investigate, but invest in some more some more troop recruitment. Let's get the armor here, get more units out of that. One more turn and we can get some more troops here though, that's wonderful. In Framsburg we should probably get these guys. And in Dane's Halls, I will get these troops as well. We'll, we're just going to be able to bring that army down, I think. They're not too good. Yeah, this will be sufficient enough. That's fine. These guys just gotta keep going over here. I really want to bring down that army, though. Let's build one more watchtower and then we're going to head south. We can actually... Ah, oh, we can actually get the Orkani clan hall here. I had no idea. Let's get the brewery and the, the hall then. And we'll be able to recruit some units. That's wonderful. Uh, over here. Let's go for the practice range. We need to get some more units. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to fight this battle as well as this battle of camera. That's going to be fine. Uh, today we have finally met some opposition. We have been struggling a little bit. To be honest, this army came out of nowhere and that's, we just didn't really expect that. And that hit us pretty hard. But we do have the situation under control. We'll be able to defend against these guys even though they are a lot. We just saw how easily we can crush goblins. But we gotta crush them before this army comes in as well. So I might fight these guys off camera and just get rid of them. And these guys will definitely be sent. As soon as we can recruit more troops, I'm going to send an army down towards Goblin Town. And we're going to see the hammers in some real action. We just barely saw them in a situation where we shouldn't really have seen them anyways. But it was cool just showing them off. So yeah, I will fight these battles off camera and I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching uh, Do make sure you check out the Dorvinian campaign if you haven't. We got a pretty nice start on our economy I think definitely Happy with it Let's just send these guys up and see if the right is going to go down. No, but I keep just Yeah, talking about other stuff, but uh, yeah, do look and um, take a look on the Dorvinian campaign do leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and support me via Patreon if you'd like, that would, I would very much appreciate that. Now, and I will see you for the next episode.